One of the popular baked products na napakagandang gawin during Valentine's Week or Valentine's Month or simply every day kung ikaw ay in love ay red velvet cupcakes. Pwede mo ding gawing cake. Bakit? Because it's sweet, may chocolate siya, at syempre the color, di ba? Parang puso lang na tumitibok-tibok. This recipe, napakadali. Easy red velvet cupcakes po, no? Because you just combine all the ingredients together. And as always, this is moist, fudgy, ingredients are accessible, and very presentable as well. So simulan natin by preparing the cupcakes. You will be needing first your dry ingredients. I have here all-purpose flour, cocoa powder, ilalagay ko na dyan. This is baking soda, and this is baking powder. So first, I'm going to sift my dry ingredients twice. Kailangan dalawang beses, or pwede ding tatlong beses, kung gusto mo parang I love you lang, di ba? Because you want to refine the cocoa powder. Ang cocoa powder kasi medyo lumpy. Especially pag naha nahalo sa liquid. So to make sure that you will end up having a very smooth cupcake, you have to sift it. And also, nare-refine mo din yung baking powder and baking soda. So you mix together. Bakit po may baking powder na may baking soda pa? Bakit po ganon? Kasi yung baking soda mo naman is a neutralizer. So, tumutulong siya na maging pantay yung pag-alsa ng iyong cupcake. So, that is the reason kung bakit dalawa sila. Now, let's set that aside. Next, into this bowl, ilagay mo yung iyong melted butter. Hindi ako naglagay ng salt sa recipe because my butter is salted. If you are using unsalted butter, pwede kang maglagay ng mga 1/4 teaspoon of iodized salt. One piece of egg. This is my white sugar. Cream. I'm using all-purpose cream. Wala pong all-purpose cream sa lugar namin. You can use heavy cream or you can use thickened cream. And then I'm also putting vinegar. Basically, parang gumagawa ka ng sour cream. Eh, yung sour cream po, chef, mura po sa lugar namin. Pwede po bang instead of combining the cream and the vinegar, sour cream na lang po ang ilalagay ko? Sure. Okay? And this is red liquid food coloring. And then you just mix it. You see how nice the color. Ayaw ko kasi ng super duper red. Gusto ko yung balanced lang. Yun nandun pa din yung parang nararamdaman mo pa din yung chocolate. Pero kung gusto mo talagang chef, gusto ko po talagang pulang-pula. Para gusto ko talagang iparamdam na in love po ako. Doon sa taong pagbibigyan ko. Hindi pwede mong gawin 3 tablespoons. Kasi ngayon, 2 tablespoons lang yung nilagay natin food color. Okay? So you just mix it thoroughly. I'm using a war whisk. Kailangan halong halo mo. Don't worry about over mixing kasi you're, you're manually mixing this naman. If you're using a mixer, don mo medyo bantayan kasi baka naman ma-overbeat mo yung iyong butter. Parang may konti pang food color dito, sayang. Medyo mahal po ang food color. So Okay, and then tingnan mo mabuti yung iyong Mixture, pag wala ka nang nakikitang buo-buong flour, pwede ka nang tumigil. Okay? That's it. And then I'm going to scrape my wire whisk para siguradong simot. Alright. I'll set this aside. And then, I have here, kailangan ko pa pala to. Ito na lang gagamitin ko to scrape. You scrape the sides to make sure na talagang linis na linis mo hanggang ilalim para yung mixture mo is halong-halo. 
That's it. I have here cupcake pans with cupcake liner. I'm just using white para mas mangibabaw yung kanyang pagiging red mamaya. You will see it pagkaluto, no? And I have here a 3 ounce ice cream scooper. So magsuscoop lang ako. One per pan. Kailangan i-level mong mabuti ha. I-level mo. Wala po akong ice cream scooper, chef. Hindi po kasi kami mahilig sa ice cream sa bahay. Well, it's either bumili ka for cupcake or pwede kang gumamit ng measuring cup or pwede mo din timbangin. Pinakamaganda lang if you're using this kasi mas mabilis ka sa pagtatrabaho and makikita mo malinis. Pantay-pantay talaga yung pagkakalagay mo ng cupcake. Butter sa iyong pan. Okay? So you just scoop them out. One recipe will produce around mga 12 to 14 cupcakes. Okay. Let's scrape. Kailangan sisimutin mo. Ayan, 14. Let's scrape this para makabuo pa tayo ng isa pang piraso. O, ba? Kailangan masinok ka para eksakto at napupuno mo ang pagmamahal. So, simutin mo yan. Okay, that's it. So now, if you might have a question, paano po sa ganyan? Wala po bang effect yan kung ito pong isa ay puno and then this one is dalawa lang po ang may laman? Actually, sa oven, medyo mas mabilis lang mabibake to. So what I do is, dinidistribute ko po yan. Look. Pag maluwag yung cupcake, kung 14 pieces yung magagawa, di ba medyo alanganin. So this is what I do. Dinidistribute kong ganyan to make sure na pantay-pantay ang bake ng iyong cupcakes. O ba? So you can do this technique. This will go into a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for approximately 25 minutes or until yung ibabaw niya is almost Firm. Do not overbake it because you want your red velvet cupcakes really moist and fudgy like a moist chocolate cake. So now let's prepare the stable cream cheese frosting. This is the same recipe that we used for the carrot cake. Napakadali lang gawin. So just in case hindi mo pa napapanood yung video na yon, here it is. So first, you need cream cheese. Ilalagay mo lang sa mixer. Wala po ako mixer. Pwede po bang hand mixer or wire whisk? Pwede. No problem. Medyo mas matagal ka lang maghahalo. And then your powdered sugar. So I'm going to beat it first hanggang maghalo na yung cream cheese and powdered sugar. I start at low speed para hindi tumalsik yung powdered sugar. So once it's combined, as you can see, lalakasan ko na yung speed ng mixer until the cream cheese becomes very smooth and mag-incorporate yung powdered sugar. Okay, that's it. Do not mix it for so long because ang mangyayari dyan is matutunaw na yung cream cheese mo because of the friction, umiinit yung iyong mixer. So, just beat it until makita mo na nag-combine na silang dalawa. So, napakadali. No? So, mix it again quickly. And then, I'm going to put some butter. 
the butter has to be at room temperature. A lot of people, maraming nagtatanong na, ay, paano po ba gumawa ng stable na icing? Kasi gusto ko po talaga stable. Sino ba naman na may ayaw na hindi stable, di ba? Sa icing and sa lahat ng bagay, maganda, stable. The secret is simple, no? You have to keep it basic. Okay? Don't overcomplicate things. Parang icing yan, no? The simpler it is, if you're using pure and honest ingredients, napakasimple, nakita mo, di ba? Cream cheese lang, powdered sugar, and butter. Lahat po yan ay pure ingredients na ginamit natin, your icing will become stable. Eh, syempre, pag naman binilad mo yan, diretso sa araw, natural na matutunaw yan. But at room temperature, hindi yan basta-basta matutunaw. Stable. O, oh, ba? So, nilagay ko yung butter, and then you just beat it like that. Pag naging smooth, patayin mo na yung mixer. Do not overbeat it. Because remember, ang kalaban natin dito is friction. Pag uminit yung mixer mo, yung attachment ng mixer, ang mangyayari sa kanya, magme-melt. Look. So, this is your stable, smooth, and syempre, delicious cream cheese frosting. So, my cupcakes are ready. And... Medyo ma mainit pa talaga sila, hindi medyo. Okay? Mainit pa. And tinatanggal ko na siya from the pan, nililipat ko dito sa cooling rack. Hindi naman required, pero kasi ako excited. And I, I, I find it nicer, hindi nagpapawis yung ilalim kapag nailipat ko agad dito sa cooling rack. Pero kung hindi mo pa kaya o natatakot kang masaktan... Okay? Hindi mo pa kailangan tanggalin. Okay lang na lumamig siya ng konti dito. So, I'm, I'm using a small angled spatula para may angat ko siya. So, you, you will see they're very nice. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, very flat ang ibabaw. Ganyan ang gusto mo when you, you're making cupcake or any baked product. And the baking soda really helps, no? So, I, I'm going to let this cool down thoroughly before I put the icing. So, once malamig na yung cupcake mo, that is the only time na pwede mo siyang lagyan ng icing. If just in case na, oh, nag-bake po ako sa gabi and then masyado na po akong napagod sa kahihintay sa cupcake na lumamig, okay, pwede mo siyang i-ref and then you just put the icing the following day. Alright? So, I have here a piping bag with a star tip. Kung anong decoration ang gusto mo, pwede. Kung wala kang piping bag and tip, pwedeng ipahid mo lang yan sa ibabaw. It's really up to you. No? So, there are many ways on how to put the icing into the piping bag. The most basic is, you fold it one-third and then gamitin mo tong hawakan. So, masalinan mo ng icing. Like that. Nahihirapan po ako. Pasmado po ako. Ilagay mo sa baso. Okay? Or ilagay mo sa measuring jug. And then ilagay mo yung icing mo. No? So, doing such will make sure na malinis yung piping bag mo. Yung labas ng piping bag mo. So, your decoration or decorating will be fun instead of messy. Diba? So, ayan. Ngayon mong ganyan. And then, see? Malinis yung labas nung piping bag. You can use a bigger piping bag, but since konti lang naman yung icing ko, okay na yan. And then, to decorate a cupcake, maraming ways, the most basic is you just do a, a star, pipe mo lang na ganyan, i-wave-wave mo and then up. O diba, napakasimple. Or you can do a parang flower, a rose. You start from the center, you pipe, and then paikot. Palabas na ganyan, and then pull. Or you can do a basic rosette. Start ka naman sa gilid. Pull. You can make small stars, mini stars. Oh, one, two, 
three, four. Oh, medyo nag-alangan. Isa pa dito, five. Oh, gusto mo pang naging sagit na? Six. Oh, ba? Diba? Nagda-diet po ako. Gusto ko minimalist lang. O, oh, dilagyan mo lang ng tatlong stars. O, oh, para konti ang kainin mong icing. ba? Diba? Gawa ka ulit ng flower from the center, paikot sa labas. Actually, nasa sa'yo yan. Depende din sa costing yung kapal ng icing na ilalagay mo because of course, ang icing may cost yan. So, yung iba, ganyan lang. And, depende din sa kakain because some people, ayaw nila nung masyadong makapal ang icing. Okay. So, this recipe na tinest ko is for something like this. Mapupuno yung cupcake mo. But if you're planning to do something like this, yung medyo makapal, yung icing na ilalagay mo sa ibabaw, no? pwede mong i-times 2 or times 1.5 yung quantity or yung recipe ng iyong icing. And then you just put it on nice plates like this. And you see kung paano na-elevate yung yung cupcake experience. So, there you have your red velvet cupcake. And of course, kailangan natin yung tikman because I want to show you oh, na doble pala to isa, oh. Pwede mo gamitin ulit yan mamaya. I want to show you what's on the inside because it's very moist. Kitang-kita mo na ngayon, di ba, kung gano'n siyang Ka-moist. And then, let's try. Kukuha lang ako ng platito. And then, a fork. I want to show you how moist it is on the inside. And how nice the color is. Wow! See? Let's try. Mmm. What I like about this recipe, hindi ko nalalasahan yung food color. Because there are some super red velvet cupcakes, yung pulang-pula, na pagkagat mo, lasang food color. This one, nandun yung marriage nung butter, chocolate, sugar, and of course, the icing. And hindi nawawala yung nice reddish color nung cake. You see, and it's very moist and fudgy as well. Hindi nakakaumay. Mm. So, ano pa hinihintay mo? Gumawa ka na ng red velvet and make every day full of love. Oh. ba? So, keep safe and I'll see you soon.